Hi guys, today I'm going to start drawing with this jelly print. Isn't it cool? Can you see all the patterns and colors in it? And if you don't know what a jelly print is, I will put the jelly print playlist at the end of this video and you can check that out. So let's get started. I'm in my car. I think I'm actually going to do the drawing in the car today. I like being in my car. And it's nice out. And I'm in Ohio. Um, anyways, it's one of the first nice days. But I got one of my favorite drinks I want to share with you guys. I know this is not relative to drawing at all. But it is so good. If you can find it, you got to try it. It's coconut water infused with coffee. And if I can find it, I know it's not going to be in Amazon. I highly doubt it. I'll link it below. But anyways, I want to share that with you guys. So let's get started. I'm going to draw with a uniball signal today. And this pattern is pretty cool. We're just going to go around. I like the sound that it makes on the acrylic paint, the pen, and uh, you just have to watch and see what I'm doing here and you'll get the picture. So I took a quick look on Amazon before I started the video up again and it looks like they don't have the coffee coconut water. But they do have the other, just, <clears throat> excuse me, just plain coconut water, which is just as good. I love it too. It's my other favorite drink. So I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out. That I actually uh, go into like Mexican markets and Asian markets just to get fresh coconuts here in Ohio until I found that company. And... That company, man, I'm telling you, that is the closest to a fresh, um, to a fresh coconut that I've ever experienced in a bottle. That's really good. And I like to drink those a lot when I have headaches or migraines, which I get often. So, I'm just doodling away here. Like this. Hope you guys can see. So you can draw it a bunch of different ways, but I kind of like to have it like that. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, let's see. Now let's try to use our distress marker, and I'm going to use peacock feathers. Let's see how this works on a jelly print. And I'm going to use a water brush, too. And what I'll do is I will link my Amazon store at the dis uh, under in the description box, which has all these supplies if you want to check them out. You can just check them out there. So I'm just going along, adding some color like this. It's actually going along very quickly because the water helps it to blend very nicely. And yes, I'm a little out of the lines. That's okay. So I'll do all this first part and then I will be right back. Okay, and we're going to just come along here and go on the next row of these little loop-de-loop-de -loop things like this. And I don't um, like to do them all and then paint because I'm afraid it's going to get too dry and then paint with water. So I like to do like two and then right away get to the water with them just to be safe. I guess you could try it that way, but I don't do it. Th I've never tried it that way. I don't know if it will not blend as well or not. 
and you keep going. I've only got my art supply box with me, so we'll have to see what else I can do to make this tangle interesting. I have a little bit of a headache today again. I've been going to a chiropractor and I have been seeing tremendous results. And then I got a headache a couple days ago and it came back again. I gotta go see her. I've been going like three times a week and it is helping a lot. So, say a prayer for me guys because it was getting so bad I couldn't even hardly look down. It was really, I thought my drawing days were over. It was just terrible pain. So I highly recommend seeing a chiropractor if you are experiencing anything like that. I have tried so many other things that could kind of help a little, but it just kept coming back. I was getting pain in my shoulders, everything, my hands, my neck, my back. And it just was not worth it. So I finally bit the bullet and went and saw the chiropractor. I really, uh, I have a terrible fear of doctors. I mean, like, psychological, really bad, diagnosed fear of, uh, what is it called? White coat syndrome, I think. <laughs> I, uh, very bad anxiety. So it was a lot for me to even see a chiropractor. It was pretty much where my husband was like, you're going or else. I'm tired of seeing you like this. So I finally went. And now I'm like, why did I even fight this? This is awesome. I come out of there feeling like a million bucks. Like, I wish I could go every day. You know, doctors are a lot different than chiropractors. And I know this. Whoops. I just was really nervous to, to go. I'm kind of a creature of habit, too. I like routine. I don't like to do too many new things all at once. And I really, really, really do not like medical doctors. No uh, offense to anyone. <laughs> because they've saved my life a few times, you know. I've had surgeries that I probably wouldn't have lived if I hadn't had them. So, But I'm very much into healthy eating, healthy. I'm, I am overweight, but um, I'm just a health nut, big time. Just a big old health nut, so... I don't like to take a lot of medication, and I really uh, am into alternative medicine and stuff like that, and it's been working out, I'm telling you, because my husband has not been sick, no flu, nothing. We don't have the flu shot, get the flu shot. I have not had the flu shot, no sick, no cold, nothing, and... I have an 11-year-old that comes home and brings home all of his school diseases and he has not even had a runny nose. Praise God. And it's already March, so, you know, it could come, but I really, I think we missed it. I really do. But we eat some crazy stuff around here sometimes to protect ourselves from those nasty viruses. Okay, we're finally finishing here. That's why I just kept talking to you guys. So that you could not get bored while I do that. And, well, we're finished with that part. So now, we will start on some shading. Let's see. I think shading right in the middle, of course. These little corners here. And I'm not being perfect. This is a uh, kind of a sketch. It's not super sketchy, I should say. But with when you have this uh, jelly print background. Boy, that got dark. Maybe too. Maybe I have too dark of a pencil. Uh, you know, it can be kind of loose and and sketchy. As much as you want it to be. She had a little thicker stump there. Let me see. Oh, I have to make do with what I got. And just blend, 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 blend. 
all of that in really good. So I will do all of that and I will be right back. Okay guys, look at this so far. Isn't it looking cool? So I'm taking a Prismacolor uh, Premier in Mulberry. Again, all that stuff will be listed below. And I'm just lightly, just barely touching. I'm adding just some color in between these little areas like this. And I'm going to go through and do that on all of those real carefully. And I will be right back. Here it is all done, guys. I really like it. I don't think it needs any more tangles than that on this page. What do you guys think? So, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my drawing. And please subscribe if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching. Bye.